everyone, it's Gio and welcome back to This Week in Overwatch. We are now a few weeks into stage four of the Overwatch League. We've had time for the new meta to start settling and seeing where things are happening. We've had some great games this week, some controversial. For example, the Dallas and Houston game at the start of the week where Houston managed to beat Dallas 3-1 despite Dallas's really good performance this stage so far. The LA Valiant have been performing admirably, beating London 2-1 and beating the Houston Outlaws 4-0, whereas our best team in the league, supposedly, New York Excelsior, have not been doing too well, losing 2-3 to the LA Gladiators, although if Monte Cristo is anyone to listen to, it's because they're sandbagging. Seoul still can't seem to overcome whatever problem it is they're having internally, losing 3-1 to Boston and 3-2 to the Philadelphia Fusion. A team that started off so well in stage one, now looking like playoffs are not in their sights. In news this week, there's been a massive developer update given by the dev team. Loads of social features being introduced into Overwatch, some of which have been being discussed for months by the community. The first of the big social updates is endorsements. In a similar way to how you can report someone for bad behavior, you can now endorse them for good behavior. There are three categories under which you can endorse someone, sportsmanship, shot calling, and being a good teammate. The system will work on a decay basis, so any endorsements that you earn, you will have to maintain. Also, if any action is taken on your account, such as a suspension, then you will lose any endorsement that you have. The second social feature will be looking for group. Under this system, you can build any group to any requirements that you want, such as enforcing a 2-2-2 comp rule, or you can force everybody to be in the group communications. This allows people to search for or create groups that meet the requirements that they want to play with. There will also be big updates to Horizon Lunar Colony. Uh, not too much was given about this, just the fact that the ability to attack from the defender's spawn room in the healing zone is going to be changed. That's about it. The Shanghai Dragons tweeted this week that flex player MG has left the team. MG wrote a long post on Chinese social media site Weibo, which was translated by Reddit user Leonard Luke. In it, he said that he tried to fill any role that the team needed, but that essentially his training became playing ranked all day. A life of high salary and no playtime is not why he came to the US, so he will be moving back to China. In a screenshot message also included in this post, he said that he would rather play in Chinese contenders. Jake of the Houston Outlaws tweeted this week that he will not be accepting Team USA's invitation to tryouts this year, saying that he had much bigger plans. Jake, who was the Team USA captain last year, hasn't given any details as to what these plans are. However, there is much speculation about whether he wants to do casting, analysis, or maybe coaching. Overwatch Team GOATS have announced their North American Contenders Trials roster, which will include ex Dallas Fuel player Main Tank XQC, as well as recently banned turned unbanned flex player Kaluge. The roster announcement came as a surprise to many, especially after in a recent stream, Felix said that he had been offered a place on season two of the Overwatch League. The team's contenders tryouts was streamed on XQC's channel a few days later. And that's all the news from competitive Overwatch this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and remember to come back to this channel to see all the roundup updates every Sunday from competitive Overwatch. Thank you so much for watching. Stay classy, San Diego. Everything's falling, now I'm on the outside